These are the vacuums that I currently have in my uh, grandparents' barn as of October 16th, 2022. I've been collecting these machines probably since I was four. Though I don't have any of those machines here. Most of these I've had for about, I'd say, eight years. But let's just go through them. I guess to start, we have this uh, Electrolux Marquise. I picked this up at a uh, yard sale back in 2018, I believe for 20 bucks and it had all of the attachments but the hose is broken it even had the sidekick though my sanitaire quiet clean I forget the model number um, I picked this up at Goodwill for 10 bucks in 2018 this may be by far one of my favorite bagless cleaners my Hoover Elite Rewind Deluxe uh, don't let it trick you, but there's nothing deluxe about it. It's just in Le Rewind. It's rebranded. And um, I bought this for, I believe, $5 at a uh, little thrift store in 2019. Hoover Widecraft Preferred. Um, this is kind of an odd vacuum. Uh, it's not the actual Hoover Preferred. It's just a rebranded... They just reused the name. It was made in China, and I think it's from 2005. You don't typically see many of these around, or at least I haven't typically seen many of these around. And in front of it is a little old Bissell carpet sweeper. Picked it up in an antique store. Dirt Devil MVP Swivel Glide. Need to get a replacement belt for it. Got it from my uncle several years ago. Hoover Encore Supreme, which I got from a family friend. Um, Hoover Self-Propelled Wind Tunnel Ultra, which I got in 2018 for five bucks. Behind that is a Eureka 1945B, which I got eight years ago for free at um, what my local recycling center calls the uh, Treasure Chest. It's another one of my favorite machines. Dyson DC14 Low Reach. Picked it up for 10 bucks at Goodwill in 2014. Also think this is a great one for how much I paid. Little Dura brand canister thing. Uh, don't have much to say about it. My Phantom 11 amp machine from 1996. Unfortunately, this has some whistle blockage, and I have been unable to solve it. If you are able to solve it, please tell me how. Next to that is my Phantom Thunder, which I love, and I picked it up just this year for $8. It wasn't complete, but it was worth it. Bissell Easy Vac. I found this on the side of the road on my way to school when I was eight. And I've been wanting one of these when I found it. Uh, General Electric Upright, which unfortunately has a burnt out motor. So you're probably not going to see this one in action anytime soon. My Kenmore Progressive Upright needs a new belt. Uh, one of two Electrolux Model Gs here. And then Electrolux Model L. The Model L I got for a buck. That Electrolux Model 60 I got for free from a vacuum shop. Um, Auric XL 9000, which I got from my grandmother on my dad's side. Uh, Singer R4D, I made a video on this one. It's one of my most popular videos so far. Bought it at an uh, antique store. I think this is the most I may have spent on a machine. 45 bucks. Dirt Devil Broom Vac, bought it for 2 bucks at the yard sale many, many years ago. My Panasonic MC6915, kind of an uncommon one. Uh, the reason it doesn't have the bag cover on it, because that's broken. But still, it's odd. One of my favorite machines, my Panasonic JetFlow MC6640. The one thing that could make this better and make me use it more is if I had an attachment kit, so I could use it to clean the car. Um, 
Pro Team running vac. Bought it for a buck, but I don't have any attachments for it. Hoover Concept 1, I forget how much I paid for this, but still cool 70s, 80s, funky green color. Bissell Power Force, very first Bissell I ever owned. Bought it in 2014 for seven bucks at Goodwill. Eureka Excalibur, which I got, for a, got from a friend. Still am having trouble trying to find a belt for this one. Uh, Hoover Convertible, forget the model number, but I got it for free. Also needs a new belt. Panasonic Jetflow MC5155. Bought it for five bucks, works really well. Kirby Heritage 2, don't really use it. Uh, my Eureka Light Speed, which I am trying to convert into a wall mount vacuum. Uh, Panasonic Portable Cleaning System, don't know much about these, it was my grandmother's. Oric Iron Man, that was the first vacuum that I bought in 2014 that really started the boom in my collection. Uh, a uh, Singer H6 hand vac buried somewhere in there. Dirt Devil hand vac. Auric, I'm not sure what these are called, Buster B or something. Euroflex Monster Mini. SIBO uh, Airbelt K2, it's the only SIBO I have at the moment. Hoover Encore Limited Edition, bought at the yard sale in 2014 for two bucks. Eureka Rally 2. Euro Pro Super Shark. I used to have one of these, but then we took the mo my dad took the motor out of it so I could drag it around. But now I bought this one at a yard sale in 2016. Uh, Dirt Devil Junior Upright missing the bag cover. I've had this since I was very, 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 very small. Hoover Quick Broom. Don't really care much for this one, but I got it for free in 2014. 14 many years ago. Hoover slider, another fairly uncommon one from the early 2000s. It's cordless and it's kind of portable. Eureka 4 in 1. It's a nice little vacuum. These two dustbusters here are dead. Over there is my Montgomery Ward hand vac. I forget uh, what model it is. I bought it at a thrift store. And next to that is my junky computer vacuum. I found it in a thrift store in Wells somewhere. This over here is a really odd find. It is a Sunbeam Challenger from the 1970s. I found it for free on a curb. It was advertised on Facebook Marketplace. It had all the tools, most of which are buried somewhere in this barn. Um, but hopefully I can find a, uh, a bags for it on eBay. Another Electrolux Model G. My oldest vacuum, my airway sanitary system from 1920. Love this thing to death, even though it doesn't look its best. Phantom Fury Special Edition, broken clean out port, broken belt, probably just going to harvest it for parts. Bought it at Goodwill for maybe too much money. Uh, Eureka Precision, bought for 20 bucks, just replaced the belt. It's a nice machine. Eureka the Boss Smart Vac Pet Lover, which I may be getting rid of at some point. Simplicity Sport, it's not really a simplicity, it's just... Uh, some random garbage machine made in China and it's kind of a rip off of that Auric over there. Um, I have other machines. Expect a part two because I actually have those at my house. Um, well this, oh and I forgot the a little clean machine thing. Well this, these are just the machines that I have at my grandparents' house. So, Thanks for watching. I don't know if I'm going to upload this because it's kind of cringeworthy filming because I'm filming this on a camcorder instead of an iPhone. Uh, so I guess <laughs> there you have it. Bye.